We have breaking news now. Officers in pursuit of a driver wanted for robbery. We've been following this for a while as they were tracking the driver. It is about to turn into a pursuit. Our Gil Levis is live in Sky 5 over the chase. Gil, what do we know so far? Sam and Cher, this is a uh, definitely a pursuit now. CHP is involved right now. The Lakewood Sheriff started this pursuit of robbery suspects. They uh, were on surface streets in Lakewood. They took off from those officers and actually ended up crashing into several parked cars and then continued to go on surface streets for a while, then made its way onto the 605 North, went to the 91 freeway and then uh, up to the up to the uh, 105 freeway then the 110 this car's been all over the place driving at high rates of speed right now we're at uh, albertoni and avalon squeezing through vehicles here but again uh, robbery suspects look at that move by the chp coming on the other side of the vehicle they might do a pit maneuver here. it's a little fast for it but uh we'll see if that happens but uh, again robbery suspects we believe there is the driver and possibly one other passenger on board but this pursuit going for about 25 minutes now and it's been really high speeds on the freeway especially we've, we've seen speeds of 100 miles an hour but now we're looking at uh, about 89 90 here on surface streets it's unbelievable we got some stop traffic up ahead we'll see what happens but uh, let me come out to a wide shot you see the units there in pursuit wow look at that oh tough tough move for the chp he's going to go up on the side look at oh. this up on the side of the of that road there and it might be it this might be it Nope, doing anything that they, that they can to get away. Uh, look at that. Um, another motorist, of course, uh, moving to the side, hearing the, the sirens for sure behind them and trying to make way. But uh, this is such a dangerous pursuit now uh, through these surface oh. streets as this uh, car is trying to get away. Again, this is a pursuit of a robbery oh, suspect no. just inching his way right, squeezing his way right through that. Uh, that box truck and also that other car damaging them, but this is it. Look at this. He's stuck. Oh boy, he just he definitely hit that box car and that other vehicle next to him. This driver desperate to get away. We've seen him. Uh, we've heard that he hit a couple of parked cars. Like I said, now we've seen him for the first time in this pursuit hit other vehicles. So that's a. Uh, a very uh, dangerous situation here for all the drivers out here. It looks like he's going to transition onto the 91 freeway right now. This is eastbound, and I'll tell you what, it's nothing but a parking lot out here on the 91 right now. That is not the freeway to get on during rush hour if you're trying to go fast, is the 91 eastbound. So you mentioned this driver ran into some cars. Do we know if there were any injuries? I know you said they were parked, but was anyone hurt in that? We didn't hear any injuries, but again, here the driver squeezing between cars. No, uh, we didn't hear of any injuries in those parked cars. The, uh, some of the officers, uh, or deputies, I should say, from uh, Lakewood Sheriff's did stop to check on those vehicles as the pursuit continued. In fact, we thought it was over when he hit that vehicle, or those parked vehicles, uh, but it continued on. There is some damage on the uh, front passenger side of the vehicle that indicates that he did make contact with those parked cars early on in the pursuit. And we joined the pursuit when it got onto the 105 from the uh, 710, and it's been nothing but high speeds. He tried to ditch the, the police by going, uh, exiting at Gage, going westbound, and then making a U-turn under the freeway. But we were able to keep up with them, and uh, CHP now in pursuit of this vehicle. They took it over from the sheriff's department. But look at this, in and out of traffic here. Like I said, speeds on, on the freeway are, some lanes are completely stopped right now. So as you know, the 91, just heavy this way uh, at this hour. Yeah, what, what is the next exit? I'm sure that this guy's probably going to want to uh, exit the freeway so he can have a little bit more leeway to try and elude um, officers. But uh, that's not going to be happening with all the airships overhead watching his every yeah, move. A, here we go. Well, it looks like he's exiting here, Cher, now. Uh, I believe this is... Let's see if this is Compton Avenue. Uh, On to Artesia Boulevard there. And looks like he's got a free rein here with a, well, he's gonna loop around. And here we go under the freeway. So this will be a little tricky. Let's see if he makes a U-turn or, or comes back out. Nope, he comes back out and he's gonna go westbound here. Back onto, I think this transitions back onto the freeway if he has a chance, yeah. It looks like he's gonna do that. Yeah, and then it looks like traffic's a, a, a bit lighter going in that direction. There he is going back onto the freeway. We're on the 91 now, um, and uh, he, he has been going at extremely high speeds. Um, and where is the CHP? They're there. They're uh, keeping up, believe it or not. It, uh, they had to drop back due to some traffic there, but they are in, still in pursuit. Uh, they're not going to give up on this driver here as he continues westbound uh, away from... Uh, the, 
the police and back towards the 110 freeway. So we'll see if the driver takes the 110 freeway here north or south. We've seen uh, the driver take it north and south on the, in this pursuit. Uh, but right now, in a, about, uh, I would say, two miles, maybe three miles, he'll have to hit that interchange. We'll see what he does. And you said this started just before 4.30 this afternoon. We've been watching it on and off before we got onto the air. It started in Lakewood, where this driver crashed into some cars before going fast on the surface streets. You even, Gil, said you clocked over 100 miles per hour for this driver. Yeah, and he's about that right now. Look at the damage to the vehicle on the driver's side now. That driver's side was fine up until he went past that box truck and scraped against that other car. Now he's got a lot of damage. The back bumper, he, he's exiting right now, by the way, but a lot of damage right on the front end of the vehicle. Exiting Main Street, we'll see it's a long off-ramp here, and we'll see if there's any uh, traffic up ahead. Looks like he's lucking out here with not a whole lot, but uh, we got the intersection coming up. It's a red light. Oh, boy, here we go. Let's see what he's he does if through. he's going to blow through that intersection. Northbound. Mm-hmm. Yep. Northbound Avalon, he went through. Luckily, no cars in the intersection, ran that red light. We've seen multiple red lights being run by this driver. And here he goes, he might jump the curb. Let's see, he's got a couple vehicles ahead of him. They're moving, thankfully. And he's gonna blow right into this intersection. Cross traffic <laughs> there, wow, unbelievable. And uh, at this point, um, airship overhead, uh, sheriff's um, deputies, airship overhead, uh, watching him, as, of course, uh, the media airships. But um, where is the CHP? Um, unfortunately, I can't see out. This is on uh, the pilot side of the aircraft. I can't look out the window, but let me come out. I don't want to lose the vehicle here, but yeah, no, he's fine. Made, made some distance from those ground units because of the mm -hmm. way he's driving. Uh, but the airship, the sheriff's hel helicopter, definitely overhead keeping an eye on this driver. All right. So ground units uh, probably just doing their best to try and catch up to this guy, but uh, we have we definitely okay. all know where, uh, he's, where he is. Uh, oh, look at, oh, look at this. Center divider. And there is one unit behind him. I'm hearing my pilot... Uh, uh, crossing the intersection they were crossing on the wrong side of the road and into the intersection oh there goodness. he goes eastbound turn there's a unit there's a uh, I believe that was a Carson Sheriff's unit there but uh, CHP still in the pursuit here eastbound here on Alondra uh, we have uh, tinted windows here so we don't know if uh, the suspect is uh, the sole occupant of this vehicle um, again this is a robbery suspect it started in Lakewood uh, at about 435 this afternoon and it has been a, an intense pursuit um, it was a following at first uh, and we have some b-roll of, of what it looked like uh, here on screen right um, when he was you know going through surface streets and 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 hitting cars um, he had uh, has no regard whatsoever for any of the um, motoring public, uh, pedestrians at that matter, especially as you see on screen left, your live pictures. Oh, oh my goodness. Look at that, nearly missing that red car uh, and doing whatever he can to get away. So dangerous here. We're uh, eastbound on Alondra from Central in the Compton area right now and, uh, you know, desperate to get away, no doubt. The speeds are high and there is uh, moderate traffic here on Alondra. And Gil, you've been watching as this driver went through surface streets in Lakewood, got on the 605 to the 91, to the 105, to the 110. We saw him get back onto the 91, and now we're going through surface streets in Compton. Oh yeah, boy, it's been it's been really crazy. Made it made his way up from the 105 up to 110 and exited at Gage. Tried to lose the cops by making a U-turn under the bridge, and then came out uh, eastbound down uh, Broadway for a time. Look at this. Oh no, he's almost. <laughs> almost T-boned by those cars coming through the intersection. Those people not knowing what's going on. This guy runs the red light. What a close call there for those people. I'm glad they were able to stop in time. But that's how it's been, uh, Sharon, uh, Sam. It's been like this the entire time, uh, especially on surface streets. It's been very dangerous. On the freeways, he's able to weave in and out, but he did make contact with that box truck and that other vehicle. Unfortunately for that person, uh, their vehicle's damaged. But look at his, his vehicle here right now. Look at that front end. It's on both sides, it's like that. And the rear bumper is uh, kind of uh, detached as well. And I can't tell, but I think they lost the side view mirrors when they were squeezing between oh. cars. Oh my gosh, another near miss in the intersection. Wow, I was in tight on that. It looked like a, a box van or a van of some sort that almost hit his rear end. But yeah, it looks like he lost his mirror there. It's, it looks like it might be, well, it looks like it's completely gone there or dangling at least. Yeah, but he, here he goes down the double yellows. Mm -hmm. Down the double yellows, he's going to come here to the median. He says he can't make it there. So this erratic driving continues through the Compton area. 
Uh, and, uh, you know, we do see that this happens on, on occasion when we televise these pursuits that people will tend to come out uh, and try to grab some uh, video or live stream it to their social media accounts. And, you know, this is a very dangerous pursuit that's going through the area. Um, it's, it's really best to just stay indoors. And um, that's something that we always advise people uh, is, is just to keep safe, lock your doors, lock your, your, your windows, because uh, many times the, they will foot bail. Right turn, and, uh, yep, making another turn here. Uh, lighter traffic and they will foot bail as I was saying and and try to enter the home and uh, barricade themselves inside there. Yeah, no doubt. It's a uh, good advice to stay away from this pursuit. This driver here not uh, concerned about hitting other vehicles, let alone anyone on the street. He's jumped. Uh, he's jumped onto the curb onto the uh, that center divider through the center divider, weaving in and out just like that. This is southbound Santa Fe. Uh, at, coming up to Greenleaf. He's got a red light. He's going to have cross traffic there. He's going to make it through. Fortunately, I think that light just turned red or turned green for him. So continuing past Greenleaf, uh, we're seeing about, we're gauging about 60 miles an hour right now on our uh, on our map system. But uh, let me pull out to a wider shot to see if there's any units in trail. I'm going to ask my pilot, Rick, to see if, they, if he sees any back there. But here he goes right into the double yellows again, really close to that v, VW there, and then through that intersection. Um, do we know anything about uh, what happened in Lakewood when this pursuit started, um, other than, than he's a robbery suspect? Do we have any um, uh, indication of what may have occurred and where? Well, we're hearing uh, conflicting reports. We were hearing that it's a robbery suspects, but also hearing that there are shoplifters uh, that uh, robbed from a store, that stole from a store. So it, it's a little conflicting on the uh, information. The first word was that there was a, a strong armed robbery suspects, but now it, now we're hearing that it's uh, shoplifting suspects. But uh, in any event, this driver desperate to get away and, and, and no matter what the crime is, you know, he's committing multiple other crimes to mm. innocent people here, especially hitting their vehicles and then fleeing. Hit and run, you can just add to the list of things this driver's doing. Running red lights uh, is just very chaotic. Yeah, blowing through those intersections for sure, especially at this hour, uh, you know. Uh, if they are red lights, you know, it, people crossing with their children, coming out of school, making their way uh, home from, from doing errands or the grocery store, about to cook their dinner. Uh, it, it is a frightening situation. Right. Um, you, nonetheless, sir. as he goes under that freeway right now, hopefully we can catch him on the other side. There he is. And Gil, yep, we and did he hear CHP pulled off the pursuit and that sheriffs were taking over. And we're not seeing any law enforcement, even when you take a wide shot there. So what is the status of trailing him? Well, the airship's still overhead tracking. They're able to keep up. And uh, unfortunately for the ground units, they're having to uh, avoid all the traffic and the red lights that they encounter. So that slows them down. This guy has no regard for any of that. He's just blowing through. Look what he's doing here. There's a guy on a bicycle almost hit. He's on the bike lane there. And uh, you know, not a care in the world about what this, what he's doing to uh, people or affecting people out here. Hitting cars, almost hitting that guy on the bike, jumping on the curbs and crossing the center divider. Here he's going to split. Let's see if he splits this car. He's going to push through. Oh, he, thankfully that red car moved enough and didn't get hit. Mm -hmm. But here's a red light, another one, with people turning, and he's going to oh split goodness. right through. Oh, there you go. That's what I mean. This driver. Oh, look at this. A U-turn driver, not knowing this guy's coming. Wow. Lucky to get through that yeah, intersection. That this bad. is Atlantic. It, well, it could have been, yeah. Atlantic northbound now from Artesia. And this has been and let's all see, might over be the place, the Gil. We, we're talking Lakewood, the 605 North, the 710, the 105 Freeway, Surface Streets at Gage, uh, the 110 Freeway, the 5 Freeway, the 91 Freeway in both directions. And uh, here we are back on the 91. Back on the 91, back eastbound. And this is where he had that trouble with the box truck and the other vehicle splitting lanes. He's using that shoulder right now, and uh, he's just going to continue to drive this way. Uh, it should be the CHP now that re-engages here, and they should be still in the area, uh, the units that were chasing him to begin with. So we'll see how soon the CHP gets on this, but uh, Sheriff's Airship, no matter what, is overhead tracking. About an hour now, this driver's gone from Lakewood to Long Beach, and reckless no regard for anyone else on the road and i know he was driving in the shoulder where in los angeles there's a ton of debris in the shoulders and you never know if this guy is going to crash into something or somebody else when driving where you're not supposed to 
I think of that all the time when I'm driving to work. I see debris in that shoulder or, the, or at the center divider lane, and I think, wow, if there's a pursuit through here, they're going to hit all kinds of debris. You're right. Uh, but right now, this driver lucking out, at least uh, in, in those situations. But here we are in that heavy traffic, approaching Paramount, and he's just weaving in and out. We'll see how soon the CHP takes to get back in here and uh, reacquire this pursuit. Uh, again, uh, this is a pursuit of a robbery suspect. It's now on the 91 freeway in Long Beach. Uh, this has certainly been a very hectic um, and intense uh, pursuit at going now uh, north of, uh, it looks like, a, well, it was going at 100 miles per hour at one point, now hitting in the 80s. Um, and uh, we are looking for the ground units uh, behind him. CHP should be uh, behind him, but now he's making an exit. So, uh, Gil, back up to you. Yeah, he's exiting here off the 91. We'll see which way he turns east or west. Well, he's got traffic there. He's going to go around that vehicle. It looks like he wants to go south. And, yep, he's going to make a southbound turn. This is going to be on Downey Avenue. And, Gil, at and, first uh, we thought maybe yeah. there was a passenger in the car. Do we know? You know, I thought I heard them say a male driver and female passenger. Mm. Uh, I can't uh, confirm that, uh, but I thought I heard them say that. Here he's into a, a, a mall, or actually a, a shopping center parking lot, and he's going to go uh, continue southbound here in front of that store frontage. He's going to come back out onto uh, Artesia here, and he probably will loop back around and go north. Let's see if he tries to get back on the freeway. And there it is, northbound turn back on the downy northbound back towards the freeway so we'll see who's going to think about jumping on that freeway again but uh it looks like lighter traffic towards the 605 on the 91 if he does jump on it there's the on-ramp he does not let's see if he tries to, to lose the helicopter by making a u-turn like he did before and under the underpass and sometimes we see them fit bail un under the uh when they go under the underpass right i haven't seen him come out okay yeah, he might have he might have bailed under there. The airship, I didn't see him come out, but he may have gone. Uh, may have back ditched the, other the car. Way. May have ditched the car. Uh, still waiting word. I'm listening to the uh, airship overhead, talking. There's a unit that's going. Uh, it looks like he's stopping there. Yeah, and the airship saying he never came out of the underpass, so he looks like he may have bailed out. One female running northbound. Here she is. And they're detaining the car at gunpoint. That's her right there. All right, so that's the passenger or the driver of the car trying to that blend in. That could be in. both of them right there. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that could be both of them. We're hearing that the female is running northbound. Yeah, I, uh, the airship thinks that these two are them. Yeah. And now she's going to walk backwards. Uh, we're going to try to, well, Maybe we're going to. Perhaps she's going to surrender to authorities and. Uh, She's going to walk back towards the authorities. He's walking back. Uh, he's continuing northbound on the phone, but we'll see if... Uh, oh, there she goes. There she's running now. And uh, it looked like they knew each other. He was talking to her. Mm -hmm. She was uh, arguing maybe. He's going uh, east, and she's running into a westbound alley. I don't know which one the driver was. I thought they said there was a male driver, female passenger. Uh, but in any event, she's going to go into this uh, neighborhood here in the alley, and uh, we're going to look back what? to the left. I don't see the, the mail there, so back over here. Here she is in between cars and running. We're going to uh, see. It's going to be Johnson Avenue, the 6700 block. And Cher, this is exactly gonna... why earlier you said if you're watching this pursuit and you recognize maybe this is your neighborhood, lock your doors mm -hmm. and roll up your windows if you're parked next to this pursuit because you don't know what the driver will do absolutely when they get desperate I, right. yeah if they're outside of the car you know that certainly there there is the opportunity to um carjack uh you know anybody uh, that's on the street if those windows are open it could be uh, very dangerous for those people that are in this area of the 6700 block of johnson avenue here in the bellflower area certainly if you are home and and uh watching ktla right now uh you will uh, likely hear the the airships overhead and, and the sirens as well so again uh, a reminder 
to lock your doors immediately and also to secure your windows uh, to make sure that, that you can keep your family safe uh, because these uh, suspects, they tend to, as we've seen um, many times over, uh, want to you know, find some kind of refuge and, and hole up in your house and, and barricade themselves on, uh, where a standoff could last for hours. And we might see that here. You know, I, w I switched from the female who was running westbound to the male. I'm hearing the the uh, sheriff's talking about uh, the the male running behind the shed. They have him at gunpoint right now. They believe he's still behind that shed, so they'll call him out, see if he comes out. Uh, as far as the female, she ran to the west uh, in that neighborhood. She wasn't sure where to go, but when I heard them talking about the the male here running eastbound, it sounds like they have him contained here between. Uh, between that shed and the freeway off ramp. Well, this certainly has been a, a very, um, you know, it was a high speed pursuit for sure and uh, incredibly dangerous as it was making its way through um, several freeways in the Southland and, and, and just driving so erratically, splitting okay, lanes, um, hitting parked cars. Uh, on surface streets, blowing through uh, those intersections and red lights, and nearly, um, you know, hitting cars there, and then at the same time, losing the side view mirror as it was squeezing through a box truck and another car uh, on when it was exiting the freeway. So, at any cost, the suspect uh, was trying to get away. Yeah, and they had no regard for others' mm -hmm. lives in this pursuit. We saw them go through bike lanes mm -hmm. on the shoulder of the freeway and. For those watching, this started in Lakewood, and I know, Gil, you said we had conflicting reports of possibly a strong arm robbery or these are shoplifters, possibly both trying to get away from police, going 100 plus on surface streets and through at least five different freeways throughout Southern California, as Cher mentioned. And it looks like possibly police are making contact with the suspects. Yes, yeah. they believe this is the, the driver of the vehicle, male. Uh, that ran to the uh, to the east. The female still uh, on the loose, two blocks uh, west of the uh, boulevard that we were on here. But uh, it looks like they have the driver here in custody, the male that was uh, coming out from underneath the bridge. They did clear the vehicle that would that did stop underneath the freeway, and uh, they believe that this is the uh, one of two parties. This is the a male, and then the female who's still running. We may move over to that. Uh, that chase right now as we uh, hear she's running in between apartments right now but uh, this driver in custody now and waiting to get the second one in custody yeah here uh, we're showing you video from uh, earlier um, when when this pursuit uh, was okay. making its way um, uh, through uh, surface streets and it looks like we do have a suspect in custody and there you go so they were able to talk him out from uh, behind that shed he was not complying at first but then did comply so one in custody, the female still outstanding, but she's running around. We'll try to get a shot of that for you here in uh, just a second here as they as they uh, confirm that that man indeed is in custody. But to the west here in this neighborhood, I'll try to reacquire. Uh, look at this. Here's a bunch of units here that are searching for her right now. And up, oh, they got her. There's. There she is. There she is. Okay, so uh, the end to a wild pursuit here in Long Beach. Uh, two suspects in custody wanted for robbery, possibly shoplifting in the Lakewood area. Uh, an hour-long pursuit that was certainly uh, very tense with high speeds finally comes to an end. We're going to take a quick break. Gil Levis, uh, sorry, yeah, Gil Levis in the, in the chopper for us. Thank you so much for um, all of uh, the coverage that we have here. We'll be right back.